Hey guys, good day and welcome to Grace Ministries USA. Holy Spirit, come on in and hang out with us. My name is Ryan. Guys, Holy Spirit, come now and just give us peace in our hearts and our lives and our worlds. We need you, Jesus. Amen. Guys, today's devotional. Therefore, he had to be made like his brothers in every aspect so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. Hebrews 2.17 One of the most beautiful things that happened because of Christ being born on this earth is his position as our high priest. Not But as our high priest, the high priest in the Old Testament was responsible for overseeing the temple, essentially, and the activities therein. However, his most important responsibility was performing the sacrifice for the atonement of Israel's sins. We are all sinners and all fall short. But I got good news. Each year, the high priest would enter the most holy place in the tabernacle and eventually the temple to present a sacrifice on the altar to cover the sins of the nation of Israel. The high priest would also present sacrifices throughout the year and intercede on behalf of the people of Israel. Christ is our high priest. This alone is an amazing thing to say. He is the one that is seated, seated at the right hand of our Father, the Father, as our representatives and intercedes on our behalf. However, what makes this especially beautiful and relevant to the Christmas season is the sacrifice that Christ presented to God on our behalf. Christ was born into this world as the as as a man under the law. He did so that we could be adopted as sons and daughters into the family of the most high. In this act of being under the law, Christ made himself culpable for the punishments of the law as well. Even though Christ was perfect and committed no sin, 2 Corinthians 5.20 tells us that he became sin on our behalf. What? He took upon himself the punishment that we deserved. What? He became guilty in the eyes of the law of God. Because of that, those in Christ are now considered righteous and innocent. He paid for our sin. Christ presented himself as a sacrifice, died for us to make atonement for our sins of his people. Atonement means that he atoned for our sins. He made them as if they never happened. He was born so that he could one day present himself as a sacrifice to the Father on our behalf so that we may become righteous sons and daughters in the eyes of God. It was a very clear purpose from the very beginning of time. Before time, this season, let us remember why Christ was born on, born all those years later, all those years ago. Let us celebrate the atoning sacrifice that he has given to us. If you have not known Christ as your high priest, then you may know his grace if you place your faith in him. And that's my prayer for you this hope, guys. God spoke the world into existence before the beginning of, of time. Well, how did he do that? Well, he was in heaven. And he placed eternity in our heart. He was in heaven in eternity He placed it in our heart. There's a tug. There's a desire to be with him. There's a desire to do the right thing. Unless you don't have a conscious, of course. But that desire comes from 
God in you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Three in one. It's confusing, complicated. Yeah. Yep. Sure is. It's And it's unbelievable. But that's why the road is narrow. And not everybody gets in. Unfortunately, it's sad. Because all you have to do is believe in Jesus and ask him into your heart and confess him as your Lord and Savior. That's it. And submit your life to him and live a good godly life and do the right thing and help people and fill them with joy, love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, those things. Our life's not about us, but my prayer is that I pray that as you go about your week, that you begin to understand that Christmas is not about presents and what do I get and what do I give and what do I, uh, uh, and all that insanity and chaos. Chaos comes from Satan. God came to bring order. He sent his son to bring order, born in a manger. Don't focus on what you do and don't have and can and cannot do. Focus on leaning in and spending time in God's word and let him do the work. Talk to him. I tell him all the time, God, I don't know why you would do this. I don't believe that you did this. God, how can you allow that to happen? God, I'm upset about this because you know what? That's what it says to do. Talk to him. So that's what I do. That is my prayer and my hope for anybody watching that you lean in, you engage God on a different level this year, and you let him work in your life and be prepared to be amazed and see what Christmas is really all about. Because it's not about how much money you got, how much money you can spend. You can't take that with you. It's good to have, but it's not going with us, so... We don't store treasures in heaven. I mean, we don't store treasures on earth where moth and dirt and dust come in and destroy. We store them in heaven. So, anyway, I just, I hope that this year you have a great Christmas and that you realize that it's not about you. And if you're alone, I'm so sorry. I've had many, many Christmases alone when I was younger and it is really hard. And I pray for you guys who are alone and please feel free to reach out through email if you need to talk or chat and just want to get stuff off your chest. All right. Have a great day. God bless you. Stay tuned for future devotionals. If you like what you heard, give us a thumbs up, a subscribe and hey, share the channel. Let's get God's word out there. And if you didn't, then don't. <laughs> I'm not here for me. I'm here for him. Anyway, ow, God bless you guys. Thank you so much for anything and everything that you do. Seriously, be great. Have fun. Life's short. Make it count.